How's it going, fellow club members? This is Leo Damascus with the Steam Controller Fan Club. And today, I am going to show you how to set up your configuration so that if you hold the button, it behaves like a hold press. But if you just press the button, it behaves like a toggle. So the way that Rocket League works by default, if you have the camera set up, it's set so that this whole ball camera thing is unchecked. And for the configuration to work, you actually do need this hold ball camera unchecked. But by default, what that's going to do is that's going to make it so that if you press the Y button, uh, that will just toggle you between having the camera behind the car or having it focus on the ball, like so. So anyway, that's the key thing going on here. Gonna do a couple of donuts. But let's actually get into the configuration and see what we can do to make that a little bit better. So if we open up the configurator here, let's go to the ball cam. And what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to change this into a start press. And then the next thing that I want to do is create a release press. I want to make sure to set that to be interruptible and have that be Y again. And what that's going to do is that's going to make it so that uh, if you, when you press the button, it's going to start by toggling it on, and when you release it, it's going to toggle it off. So it turns it into something kind of like a hold press. But here's the, the magic, and I discussed this in my activators video, but I wanted to make this video as something shorter so that you can so that you can do just this quick little trick. But what you want to do is take this double press and then set it to just something that doesn't really do anything. I like to use the back press because there's currently a bug that makes that not show up and so to me it feels like I'm adding nothing at all. But anyway, what that's going to do is when you press the Y button, it's going to start by pushing the Y button to toggle the cam. And if you hold it for long enough, then it's going to bypass this double press and toggle it back off when you release the button. But if you just tap it, what that's going to do is that's just going to keep it toggled. So let's get into the game and I'll show you exactly what I mean here. So we're wandering around here. I want to have the game focus on the ball for the most part. So just tap the Y button. And there we go. The camera is focusing on the ball, but let's say that I want to focus on something else for just a little bit here. So what I can do is I can hold on the Y button, and as long as I'm holding on it, it takes the, the camera away from the ball. But as soon as I release it, it goes straight back to the ball. So that way I have a little bit uh, more variability as far as the camera is concerned. And like I said, if you just quickly tap, it will allow you to switch it back in a more permanent sense. But there we go. Another way that I like to use this activator trip is in games that have some sort of a... that have some sort of a map. I like to set it up so that I can bring up the map and just access it kind of quickly so that that way I can get a sense of where I am as as far as the whole world travel is concerned and I can do that without bringing up um, the screen for way too long just as a quick little switch kind of thing like this but I decided to use this trick in this game in particular because there was a reddit thread that was talking about a uh, problem where he wanted to be able to have the button just release when he pushes his in rather than being held all the time and since I had that solved in a in a different video I just wanted to make sure that there was a, a easier to access one that I could that I could show off here anyway 
This is Leo Damascus, and since I've covered everything, I'm signing off for now. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next club meeting.